हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट केस ऑन सेक्शन 263 नाउ इट इज वी सी दैट ए नंबर ऑफ द रिविजन्स आर बीइंग डन बाय द कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स बाय सेइंग दैट द ऑर्डर इज इरोनियस बिकॉज़ द असेसिंग ऑफिसर हैज नॉट डन द प्रॉपर इंक्वायरी और द असेसिंग ऑफिसर हैज नॉट पास द असेसमेंट ऑर्डर फ्रॉम ए राइट परसेप्शन सो व्हाट इज द सेंटिटी ऑफ दीज रिविजन्स for this the kolkata itat b bench has discussed a very important case has passed a very important judgment which is on section 263 the name of the case is venerable advertising private limited versus principal commissioner of income tax this case has been reported in 109 itr short notes 81 and the date of the judgment is 16th january 2024 friends in Finance Act 2015 from 1st June 2015, one amendment was made, and according to that amendment, if any assessment order is passed without making inquiries, or a claim has been admitted by the assessing officer without making uh, without making inquiries, or if the order is not as per the order direction. or instruction of the central board of direct taxes then it can be said that the order is erroneous so far as it is prejudicial to the revenue this amendment was made so the question in the present case was that whether according to this amendment it can be said that the commissioner of income tax can do the revision by simply saying that the assessing officer has not done the proper inquiry or the assessing officer should have made some further inquiries or should have examined some issues in the assessment from a uh, different perspective or angle the tribunal was of the opinion in this case that if this type of unbridled powers will be given to the commissioner of income tax without his uh, objective satisfaction and just on the basis of subjective uh, satisfaction that the assessing officer should have made further inquiries or should have Uh, seen the assessment order from different perspective then it will not lead to the finality of the assessment and there will be no end of litigation the tribunal was of the opinion that if the assessment order has been passed which is not detailed one then it does not mean that the assessing officer has not made the inquiries the tribunal was of the opinion that commissioner of income tax should himself make such inquiry or cause to make such inquiry the tribunal was of the opinion that it does not give a choice to the commissioner of income tax to make or not to make some inquiry so friends in this case it was laid down by the tribunal that just by saying that the assessing officer has not made proper inquiries or should have made some further inquiries or if the commissioner of income tax does not tell in the revision order that what further inquiries the assessing officer should make the order in that case cannot be said to be erroneous because now a days when the assessment orders are passed uh, by the nfac in which the permission to pass the assessment order or just to give the uh, notices to the assessee are given with the prior approval of the commissioners that in that case it cannot be said that the assessment orders are passed without inquiries because whatever the inquiry the assessing officer is being uh, doing for that inquiries the assessing officer is taking the permission from his higher authorities so when the assessment orders are passed it cannot be taken ground by the uh, commissioner of income tax uh, that these assessment orders are done without inquiries this type of approach is very dangerous as far as the uh, assessment proceedings are concerned there will be no sanctity there will be no finality of the assessment orders and the assessee will be just at the peril of the revenue department that any time it can be opened or uh, it can be do uh, done revision so section 263 power is a very rare power which should be uh, adopted by the principal commissioner of income tax and it is not a uh, general section that it should be used in all the cases although section 263 is there because the department cannot appeal against the assessment orders so they have 
come with the uh, some round circle and given the powers to the department that they can even challenge the assessment orders without any action against the assessing officers at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is venerable advertising private limited versus principal commissioner of income tax and this case has been reported in 109 itr tribunal short notes 81 and the date of the judgment is 16th january 2024